Greetings family, it's Empress D. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's getting out in nature and I hope everybody is um, getting to know themselves and working on themselves every day. Um, I just wanted to talk about the whole Will Smith thing again. You know, I spent the last couple days, you can't avoid it almost, <laughs> it's everywhere. But the last couple days watching um, people's thoughts and reactions on the situation. I tuned into Kevin Samuels live last night and I was almost in tears. I had to stop watching it because I couldn't believe how the man was speaking about these people. Now I get it. I know we can make we can take a lot of clues from things that have happened that we know about, right? But it's so dangerous to to diagnose people and to to diagnose people and to label people on on such a big stage like that when you don't really know. Man, um, Kevin Samuels was calling Jada. Well, he said he's not a clinician and he's he's not diagnosing her. But from what he sees, she exhibits um, narcissistic tendencies. And then also um, calling Will Smith a broken man, a man that's been is a victim and. A, and been like essentially abused in this narcissistic relationship, right? You know what? He may very well might be right, right? But what if he's not, you know? And oh, the things that he's saying about this couple, you know what? I, I, I really should not talk on it. I don't really pay attention to these people. I really don't know who and how and what they are. You know, there's so much information out there that I have no clue about because I don't pay attention, right? What I saw was a man standing up to somebody disrespecting his wife, you know? Um, I applaud that because I think that that's what our men are supposed to do. They're supposed to provide and protect, right? Wrong to hit another man, you know? And, you know, it's wrong. It, it really was not called for. He should have just used his words, right? You know, and I, 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 I have to commend Chris Rock for how he handled it. You know, he handled it like a G. You know, he said, fuck this, I'm not stooping to your level, you know, and I have to big him up for that. And also, it's not, it, he took a no, you know, it's embarrassing to take a slap like that, you know, so, man, what a difficult situation, you know, but for me, I think that Chris is cool, you know, he's got that embarrassment to get over. Um, but man, people are really going in hard on these people when they really don't even know, right? That's what worries me, you know? It's not a good situation. I, 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 I don't hope that they're right, but God, you know, what I do hope is that that family is shielding themselves from media, you know? What I realize is the internet is a bunch of bullies, family. It's a bunch of bullies. You know, faceless, nameless bullies that can just stroke on keyboards or type on their phone, you know, to say whatever their hearts desire. Things that they would never say if they were face to face with that individual, right? So the internet is a scary place. This is what this whole Jada, Will, Chris Rock thing has taught me is that the internet is a scary, scary place. And um that it really is just tough having people in your business yo and that's probably why i'm so private i try to keep private i just don't want people in my business i guess it goes this this situation also points out to me the importance of how um the strength in a couple right let's just say that the media has things all wrong and Will and Smith and Will and Jada have a very healthy relationship. Um, and they're trying to evolve and grow spiritually. And when you're doing that, often from the outside looking in, what you're doing looks like it don't make any sense. That's another reason why I sympathize with them. Because I know people look at me and think, what the That girl's not making any sense, right? And I get it. And that's why I can identify with them. Because if they really are on that spiritual journey and they're making moves that only them two kind of have known and come to and like we we don't know that right 
we don't know that if they're on that journey and doing that and what the people are saying and what the world is saying about them man people are making these conclusions with with very limited information right and that's what scares me maybe it's the clinician in me right you kind of have to have more of an assessment before you make these definitive statements and really respectable people online are saying this maybe they have inside information you know that we the public aren't privy to but i'm surprised at the stance and the words and the things that that really smart people are saying about this couple you know and i, I and i and it could be right right it's just that it's i'm so I'd be, i'm so weary about making those conclusions when you have such limited information right i i send them positive loving and healing energy yo because it can't be easy to be them right now and anyone in their circle and i also send out healing and loving energy to chris rock you know at the end of the day you did nothing wrong my friend that joke really wasn't bad you know but we don't know what bad is right bad is, bad is relative we don't know where her mind is at right I, I i don't know i don't know the woman i don't know anything about the situation um what i do know though is that he handled it like a g and um i'm sending him big up and, and healing and loving energy okay family i hope you're getting out in nature i hope you guys are taking care of yourself i hope you're leveling up and thank you for taking the time to listen to this message okay family i love and i value each and every one of you one love